Hi everybody, this is Barbara Grazka, AKA The Deal Diva, and today we have with us, you can see the twins on the screen, her down here at the bottom and the top. Um, this is Rachel Miller, and uh, Rachel is my go-to gal for anything Facebook oriented. So here's why it's important as an Amazon seller, and not just an Amazon seller, if you're a blogger, if you're selling on your own websites, either physical products or digital products, Everything that, that she's going to tell you tonight can be um, tweaked for whatever your business is. We're going to focus a little bit on Amazon sellers because I know a lot of my followers are Amazon sellers. So um, here's just a couple of nuggets I want to drop here. First of all, um, big problem with Amazon. We don't own the customer, right? We can't contact that customer off Amazon and say, hey, give me your email address so I can you know, put you in a list and market some more stuff to you off Amazon. Big no-no, we get suspended, lose our account. We can't do that, right? So Rachel's gonna talk a little bit about how we can leverage Facebook in a way um, that keeps us within Amazon's terms of service, but also lets us build like niche markets off of Amazon that we can use for multiple purposes. Um, so Facebook's a solution because you can build niche tribes. You, you guys know I talk a ton about fanatical niche markets. So people who have passions that we can bring products to, or they have problems that they need solved that we can meet with a product, okay? So when we're building these fanatical niche tribes, um, we can really focus in on one of those fanatical niches that we talk about in the Bundle Masterclass. And then um, we can drive traffic to our Amazon listings. And here's what happens. When you um, promote or you get a, a viral post in one of your pages on Facebook that just goes nuts like a mommy fidget spinner and you happen to be selling like a wine um, bottle opener on Amazon, which by the way is a mommy fidget spinner, um, and that goes viral, all of your other listings on Amazon suddenly get all this juice because Amazon sees you driving traffic from somewhere outside of Amazon and they say, ooh, this person's bringing us new customers. So they will give a boost to a bunch of other, all the other things that you're selling. So that's enough from me. That was my intro to Rachel Miller. Rachel, thank you so much for being on tonight. Hey guys, we have her for 30 minutes. I have just vamped for three minutes. Uh, I'm going to make sure that um, she gives, she always gives a ton of information, but I'm going to make sure that we value her time and get her off here by the end of the hour so she can move on to um, something else she's got going on tonight. So thank you, Rachel, for being here. What, I'm going to stop sharing the screen so we can say hi. And okay. I'm going to, I'm hi. <laughs> and um, I'm, I know you're going to share some great stuff for Amazon sellers on here. I'm just going to tell you to take it away. Yahoo! I'm so thrilled to be here with your audience today. I would love for your audience to let me know if they have any questions or things that I can do to help them grow their businesses like today. So while I have stuff to share with you, I'd also love to hear what you guys have as pressing issues for you. So I know like Cindy was talking about moving off of Amazon and still using Amazon and how to make that transition as you're growing an audience. Jerry, Leroy, the rest of you that are around, I would love to hear from you as to what is something that you are seeing as a pressing issue right now with your business that you're trying to pivot in or trying to grow that audience for. Don, Jay, Janice, Sindra, I would love to hear from you guys what it is that you are wanting to create an audience for. Okay. So put, put your questions in the chat and then um, also put them, put them in the Deal Diva Facebook group. So facebook.com slash group slash Deal Diva and we will get Rachel on there in the next day to kind of chime in to answer your questions. How's that? Deal? Sounds great. Yeah. And I'd love to answer them however, however it works for you. So I wanted to tell you guys a bit about some of the products I have. So this is one of the Amazon products that I um, started creating. It was one of... It wasn't my first. My first was actually, where'd the toothbrush go? I had the toothbrush. Here it is, the toothbrush. The first product that I ever sold on Amazon was this toothbrush right here. I went to Walmart and I bought like 250 of them. I heard about retail arbitrage like the week before. Amazingly, they did not have it gated at the time. So I got like right in, which I thought was just everybody, all of them get right in. So the next time I tried to apply, I was gated. I was like, what the heck's that? <laughs> So it's like, last time I could just post a picture of that thing and I sold it immediately. Why can't I do this again? <laughs> so anyways, I got this, got right in. Why was I able to sell this? I got right in. I sold it right away. I'm pr pretty sure that the reason why Amazon, one, approved me right away, and two, why I sold out right away was because I had an audience. Because when you sign up with your brand registry, you tell them you're, what you have as your assets, right? And so when I say, I have a Facebook page and a that gets 500,000 a month. And I have this website that Amazon owns Alexa. So Amazon knows I get like 2, 000, 2 million page views a month. They're like, 
Heck yeah, cha-ching, this girl gets straight through and she gets into health and beauty. She gets to sell toothbrushes. Um, and so anyway, so I sold toothbrushes, sold out of them because I posted the link onto a post. And though it was the week after Star Wars was released or the week of Star Wars being released, I posted the link to these toothbrushes that I had purchased like three weeks beforehand. And I'd purchased all the ones in Walmart, posted the link to them. And I woke up the next morning with money in my bank account and no more toothbrushes to sell. Yeah, um, guys, if you don't know what that is, if you're not a geek like me, that is a lightsaber toothbrush. I was oh. still buy one. Oh my God. It's a lightsaber toothbrush. It's a lightsaber toothbrush. And it makes noise, but once I turn it on, the thing will not shut up for like forever. <laughs> and it's very annoying noise. But the kids were like, zoom, 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 zoom. Anyway, okay. I just love it. It lights up and it like glows and everything. So you can like brush your teeth and it plays for two minutes straight. So I, I did make the mistake once of playing it live. And I'm like, for the next two minutes, I'm like, shut that thing up, shut up. <laughs> because kids are supposed to brush their teeth for, anyways, um, for two minutes. So that's why it plays for two whole minutes. So I can imagine you doing like a little video of one of your yeah. kids using that and putting that up on a Facebook page for people who love Star Wars. I know. And Janice says she pays too much for, um, for her PPC. I totally understand that, Janice. But the thing is, a cute a kid playing with a toothbrush and singing and spitting at the mirror when he's not supposed to be spitting at the mirror that you don't have to pay for that you just get to put that up and if you have an audience full of other moms who have preschool and young elementary age boys and kids in their families they see this and like oh my word my kid needs a new toothbrush might as well get that one because their kids are having fun with the toothbrush i'm gonna get one too Next thing you know, they all purchase it. Guys, I don't think I spent any money on that post. I just posted wow. it because I knew my audience and I knew that they would think this was funny. And I got to win the buy box because I was the only one in like a five minute period that had a jump in sales. So Amazon's like, even though other sellers were selling the same exact toothbrush, they put all the listings through that night. I'm assuming through me, because I can't imagine my audience bought 250 toothbrushes overnight. Okay, so did you, did you do that with a page on Facebook or a group on Facebook? What'd you no, do? I, oh, I, oh yes, 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 yes. Actually, let's go into that really fast. That's a great question. I'm gonna sketch it out because I think it makes more sense. If Thank you. Sketch you. It. So, okay, so we have multiple parts of Facebook. We have our personal profile. We have I love a how she uses like low tech markers and post its. I love so, it. That's our personal profile. And then we have our page. We also have other parts of Facebook that are good to have as well. And that's on um, ManyChat or Messenger and a group. Okay. And then the last one that we also have, guys, which I like to consider to be part of Facebook because of the way it works, is the Pixel. And that, imagine that's a website, right? So all of these pieces, Facebook has their fingers in. And all of these pieces, us as consumers, we are using them. We're on personal profiles, we're on pages, we're using Messenger to talk to our friends and to groups, we're on Facebook groups, and we're visiting websites. So in all of these, we as a business need to be, um, and just like that, Facebook is, right? So we can use these. Now for me, whenever I was posting my toothbrushes onto Amazon, what I did is I went from my personal page and I posted it and then I shared it and tagged myself in it. So I only used two parts of Facebook, but because I had an audience on my page and because I have other moms on there, I was able to sell probably I'm guessing like a dozen and then the algorithm on Amazon did the rest and shared the rest because so I could you gave, I you gave your new listing a little bit of juice. And then the natural, like lower rank kind of kicked in on Amazon. The new one, because I was a new seller with a new product. So that's one reason why, because they want to give me a fast win. But the other thing is I actually sent them traffic right away. And so that helped. And then they saw all the traffic on me and they now put it into the search ranks. And because um, Star Wars had just been released, the kids are looking for kids, Star Wars, anything, this popped up. And that's why we sold out. Like before I woke up the next morning, we had no more stock. So I had a, your out of stock inventory. I'm like, but I just mailed it. Like, <laughs> how does that work? Um, so I That's a good not, problem to have. Yeah, I did not believe it. Well, I didn't, well, it's not a good problem because I didn't have any more toothbrushes. Oh, I right. had no clue how to get them. And it's not a product like I'm licensed to sell. Um, so I didn't know that. And um, anyways, you know, like all of that goes. So 
So what other products you got? What else do you do? Use Wait, we sold, to drive I've traffic? got books. I've got books I've sold. We've got multiple books that we've sold on Amazon. And um, Amazon then pushed the book because it did well on Amazon. We were able to do well at Books A Million because we did well at Amazon and Books A Million. Then we did, they put us on a pallet in Costco, in the middle of Costco. When we did that, next thing you know, we are now on the end cap of Kohl's during their Christmas sale every year, three years in a row. Very so cool. um, I know, and that meant that we sold over 100,000 copies and we got it translated into over 20 languages. Nice, so, high five. Snowballs, and it all started though, because we were able to drive a little bit of traffic to an Amazon listing. Okay, so let's talk about, one of those was like science uh, projects for kids, yeah. right? Yeah. So let's give us a live example, uh, an example, not a live example, but what did you do with the, how did you promote that book using Facebook? Did you just promote, hey, here's a book, or did you do something creative that would make people want to buy the book? We, I love to use lifestyle ads as much as possible. What, what I mean by it? that is someone using the product like they really would. And so this would be, hey, um, <laughs> they've only watched it three times since, and it came out on Friday. So like, there goes all my paycheck guys because we're sending all the kids to Star Wars for the umpteenth time. <laughs> Who else cannot get this song out of their head now? All of those are headlines I could write onto a video of my son playing with the toothbrush. Oh. It would not say this is an ad, but essentially guys, it's an ad. So um, basically like if, if you showed one of your kids building one of those like uh, sand volcanoes or something, and it blew up in space and it ended up, not in the space, it didn't hurt him, but it like melted and it ended up on the ceiling and there's like sand everywhere and it's funny and goofy. And then you say, by the way, if you want to find out the right way to make a volcano out of sand, buy this book. Yeah, I, you could either say that's almost like a direct call to action. I just say for all the other moms who can't get the song out of their head, I made a <laughs> toothbrush for that. I you put it. it in such a way that it does not feel like an ad when they're clicking over. Interesting. So, you make it feel like it's a favor to them that you put the ad in it, the, the link. Interesting. It's not, a, it's not buy, click here for more. It's a, hey, you, you all know this is driving you crazy. <laughs> Why not just give into the, give into the battle? Then, <laughs> so it's just, it's a different, it's a different positioning. You're not selling to them. You're almost like joining them in their life. Interesting. The content. Okay. And I when love you your do that, they don't see it as an ad. They see it as content and then they share it and engage with it and spread it to more and more people. And then the more people that see it, well, you know, when this post goes to five hundred thousand people overnight, well, it's a lot of people that are now seeing it that have the opportunity of buying. So even though I have a zero, zero, one percentage of purchase rate, well, it's 250 sales. Right. I did okay. <laughs> so that's called going viral, right? On Facebook. Essentially, you're, I Virals are essentially engagement, building an engaged audience. So when your audience wants to talk back and forth to you, that's something that their friends and family will see. And if they then jump in on the conversation, if they like your content, if they share it, if they sit and stop and watch it, well, now their friends are going to be more likely to see it. So it's almost like you take your sphere of influence and you grow bigger and bigger and bigger with each time that you're able to get an engagement on your post. So for me, it's not so much viral. Yes, this went viral. My goal was just to sell toothbrushes. Got so it. the, the 200, 100,000 people that saw the video, that was just icing on the cake. And honestly, that's not, I, I had 500,000 fans. So I could, that's not very much of my audience either. Um, it's only 20% so, of my audience. Well, let's so, say you're starting like, you're, you're just starting out. Need, yeah, you don't need a big audience though, because I didn't need 100,000 people to engage with this. I really only needed 250 because that's how many people bought it before I well, let's, okay so let's say i start a page tonight mm -hmm. how do i get people to come to my page like it's like the chicken and the egg right there's some tactics we use tactics like niche neighborhooding which is when you find other um pieces of content that are interest other neighborhoods and other other pages that are interesting other pieces of content that are interesting to your niche and you connect yourself and your page to those so that's one tactic it takes longer but there's that tactic the other tactic is to spend a few dollars in ad spend and to target people who are the most active in your space so and then use content to collect them to you before you move to targeting them with ads so that would be i would collect people that i know have kids and young sons who would probably like star wars and I would collect them into an audience. So then later 
after I've gotten their trust, I've engaged with them, later I will send them ads um, that don't feel like ads, they feel like conversation. Ruth says she wonders what else she's seen on Facebook that's really an ad in disguise. There is so much, Ruth, that you're engaging with that you may not realize is an ad in disguise. The other, another product we sold a lot of was Loom bracelets. Um, we sold tons. I mean, we're talking like thousands and thousands of these. And the funny thing is, is like we sold other people's. We would sell out of one link. We just put up another link. We'd sell out of their inventory. I'd put up another link. I'd sell out of their inventory. We were having to switch the links nonstop with these because they were so hot. Um, and all we did was say, oh my word, here's a cute little girl and she's making her little bracelet. And then I also have my neighbor kid because my neighbor kid, um, surrounded my tree. They, um, like they, they did this around my tree like 15 times. And so my tree was like covered in bracelets. So I did a picture of my neighborhood going, dude, this was totally me and saying, if your kid would do this, well, here's a place you can get refills because you're going to need. So wait, this wasn't even your product. So guys think, think about what Rachel's saying here. First, she drove traffic to her own Amazon product. Then she drove traffic just to a product that wasn't even hers, but she was getting a piece of that sale. Think about the possibilities yeah. of this. And then have you ever done a campaign where you're building an email list of people? Yeah. Yeah. We've built email lists. Cause that's we something built... else we can't do on Amazon, but we can no. do it. Now there are some tricks you can do with Amazon if you use a landing page and actually Amazon prefers a landing page too. So, um, for when Amazon gets traffic from Facebook, they would rather that it came from a landing page and not directly from Facebook. So if you have it go to a landing page first, you will actually have more of that, that Amazon juju juice, whatever. So what I would suggest for you, if you're in that circumstance and you want to pixel your audience is put it click so that when they click on the link to Amazon, it registers for you because they're coming to your page and you've got the, on your page, your website, you have this ad that's for this product. You just had a post on Facebook about it. It drives them to a landing page. And on that landing page, you have an ad towards the product in Amazon. You can even use Amazon's images. Like Amazon has like official images that you can use and you can lay them out on the page in such a way that it kind of leads them to feel like it's Amazon. It kind of feels comfortable like Amazon. Mm -hmm. So you can click on that and then you know their intent when they click is to purchase and you can send them to a link with it already in a cart, depending on how you set up your link. Now, I have not set up links like that in a while, but I have staff who do. So if you're wondering how do you do that anymore, I know Amazon changed the way that we can do that, but I don't remember how because I have staff that do that for me. Now. So I can, I can say, okay, <laughs> Allie, help me yeah, out here. This, yeah. <laughs> well, the, the key is, that, guys, that you can send them what a landing page is, basically a one-page website where you say, hey, um, do you love Star Wars? Download this, you know, uh, 100 top sayings from every Star Wars movie that's ever been made. Download this ebook, and you grab their email address, download it, and say, hey, wait, but do you love lightsabers? Go um, for 20% off on this lightsaber toothbrush, and then send them to your Amazon listing. So you're grabbing I would not the use the percentage off either because that then cheapens oh, okay. the product and they don't value it as much. Interesting. Okay. So think of yourself when you get a percentage off, sometimes you feel like, well, that's a dud. Why are they giving me a percentage off? It must not be good enough. Well, so, the key was to put, to grab their email address before you send them anywhere. So you have to give them an well, incentive. The, how, many, how many of you in the audience open all your emails? How many of you even open a third of the emails you get? So for me, I would much rather have the click of intent of going to Amazon because now I can say this person goes to Amazon regularly. They clicked intent to purchase at Amazon. I've got an affiliate link on them, tracking them so that I can see if they purchase uh -huh. and I've got their pixel data. So okay, me, so you I explain pixels. I know, you've, I know you've got a, um, you're starting a, and I'm actually gonna be in your course this time. I've Ooh. been crazy busy every single time and I decided even though we're Q4, this is it. I'm done making excuses for the past year. For the past Yahoo. year. Oh, I don't have time, I don't have, but I am entering your course. Yahoo! When you start in a couple of days. So I will be in there, yay, finally. To get Yahoo! Can't so wait. you're gonna explain what pixels are in that yes. course. Yes. And actually that's a great point. Cause we're actually, we're going to be not, we don't know if we're dripping yet because Facebook said on Friday, they're releasing a big pixel update. And they told me a little bit about what it's going to be, but I don't know for sure until Friday, what it's going to look like. Okay. And here's the thing. If I have to redo module five and module six, then it will be a dripped course. So, you so hopefully it won't be. 
Hopefully Facebook won't make me redo it because I'd rather well, not. Tell us a little bit about your course because I want to make sure you're able to get to your, uh, we've only got like five, 10 minutes left. My alarm went ready. off, but I've got five minutes. We're good. Yes, I know. Okay. You heard it. It'll, it'll ding one more time. So when it dings, I got two minutes. Um, but yeah, so we, the course opens in, um, on Thursday, we open the doors on Thursday. I know Barbara has a couple of webinars that I've done for her in the past. Yep. So if you have like, if you're like, well, I'm on the fence, I want to see what Rachel's teaching is like, if this wasn't enough, like back and forth, I'm sorry. We, it's been, a it's okay, time. Rachel. I sent out the link to my entire list earlier this week oh, from the cool. webinar that we did for the bundle masterclass and I'll, oh, send that, I'll send it out again so everybody can get more in depth with you. Yeah. Okay. So, and the content's very similar. So we, we have, of course, we have six, six modules, 10 weeks of handholding. And then after that, you're not left on your own. You still have a community that's there helping you in our alumni group. They're just more advanced. So we separated them into two bunches and we love seeing audiences just grow. So we've helped on Amazon. We've helped um, people who are in the kitchen space. We've helped people in the home and like grilling space and we've home decor space. We've helped people in the t-shirts like gobs. We've helped someone with their salt lamps. We helped someone, even though it was a tough niche to be able to sell their product in that, that niche, get their salt lamps. Um, so we've got people and authors on Amazon. It has been so much fun to see what's possible for businesses when you have an audience. Cause if you don't have an audience, it's really hard to, to sell because you're, you're at the mercy of Amazon. You're yep. at the mercy of the buy box. You're at the mercy of your competition. And yeah, you don't need to be though. Right. <laughs> so. so here's your course. It's, um, it's basically how to grow an audience fast without putting any money into pay per click or paid ads at all. So you teach us how to create an audience basically on a, a really small budget. Under, under a coffee a day. Yes. Under a coffee a day. Okay. So sometimes it's, uh, we tell you in the course to do $2 a day, but I say under $5 so that that way you have some flex. If you have a day that you want to go up to $5 a day. Easy peasy. Okay. So what else are we going to learn in your course? Talk, tell us a little bit more. I'm on her sales page, by the way, and you can get there by going to bundlemasterclass.com slash Rachel, and that'll get you there. So yeah, we, we just help people grow their audiences. So essentially if you don't have an audience, you're like the person, um, yelling at the, out the, at the street, like, Hey, I've got a product. I've got a product come for sale. And, and there's just people driving by. They're not interested. Right. When you can create an audience that all loves that topic, it feels more like you're talking to them in their living room and they said, Hey, I have a problem. And you're like, Oh, wait a second. I have something for you. You're talking to me right now. We're having a back and forth conversation. You're saying you have a problem. I can go get the solution. Let me go get it for you. You go do that as a, to your audience. They tell you they have a problem. You go and find the solution. You give it to them. They, it's not selling. It's like helping your neighbor out when you're like, Hey, yeah, here it is. Like, why don't we just split the cost? It's that conversation only you're having it worldwide with an audience that loves you. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You've got, you've got people who've got your back and they love you and it's, it's beautiful. And we've seen it work for so many, so many businesses. Um, look at those faces that are there in that list that you, we have, we've got, um, homeschool moms who sell Hebrew courses. We've got fitness coaches who sell how to eat better keto. We have digital marketers, entire staff has taken Mula. We have a finance coach. We have other social media experts that are in there like Amanda Bond, Depeche. Um, we've got dog trainer, Susan Garrett has taken it. Um, Damon who sells wreaths and a subscription box for wreaths. We've got Stu McLaren. We've got so many people who we've been able to help grow businesses. It's been crazy, crazy. Now think about it guys, no matter what business you're in, you can use this skill set and place it on top of whatever business you're in or want to be in to just add it, kind of bolt it on, bolt the skill set on to increase your business. Would you agree with that, Rachel? Yes. It, you're, it lets you um, reach more people. And if you're reaching more people, then you're able to grow your audience. Okay. I heard your alarm go off. We have uh, just three or four minutes left. Tell us uh, when do, when do you like, cause I know when you first, uh, they only have two days, 48 hours left to get into this opening um, at, at this current price. And I know you keep like for the, over the past year and a half, you've been raising your price and raising your price as you should. Cause this thing is like it's worth pretty big amount of value. We've so, already had 125 people, I think, sign up so far. So well, when do you actually start the, like, when do we have to show up for class? Class starts on Monday. Monday, okay. Six weeks. And it, it, the videos last like five to 15 minutes long, and you get to do them whenever you want to. But we have class every Monday at 10. 
Um, and I love Central. it's very interactive. Like you're just not going to throw me in a course and say, oh, go watch videos and bye-bye. Yeah. You go off to Aruba. You're, you're yeah, actually yeah. there. It's like live and you give us exercises, right? Oh yeah. Every single day we're on there, we're doing exercises. Just today I gave an exercise of doing 3D photos to Ooh. the class. They're not even started yet. And I've already started giving them assignments. Yeah, and I need that kind of, like, I need to have my feet held to the fire sometime when I'm busy. I need to be hyper, someone to focus me. It's like, okay, Barbara, 9 a.m. every day for the next six weeks or whatever, here's your exercise. That's going to help me get through um, the course, and I know you do that with your students. It's, we have a lot of fun helping people grow, and we want to do anything we can to see our students be successful. That's, like, our 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 goal in life. So it's so much fun. And it's not just me. So those of you who are like hand holding, it's not just me. We've got Luke, we've got Sandrine, we've got Mark. We might be bringing on another person. We've got Christine, who's my um, blog editor. So we've got a lot of different staff that are there to help you um, grow. Yeah, awesome. it's so much fun. Yeah, Thank you so much for having me on, Barbara. Do we have any last questions before I head off? Yeah, I know you got to go, but um, if you if you guys want to put your questions in facebook.com slash groups slash deal diva, I'll cycle back around with Rachel tomorrow and have her answer those questions in the group as well. Uh, if you've got any last minute questions, ask them in the chat. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There we go. We got someone in the chat. Can you see that? Ruthann, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. It was 7 p.m. CST, um, but that was half an hour ago. But I, unfortunately, I have mm. half hour blocks today because it's this is my sale day and it's, it's crazy. So <laughs> I was so, but I will hop into the group again. So if you miss this, watch the replay. And I know she has a webinar too. Um, but yeah, you're here with Ruthann. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming. Okay. No worries. So I'll make it engaging. Okay, cool. Rachel, thank you. Thank you for thank you. coming on tonight. I really appreciate it guys. Go to bundlemasterclass.com slash Rachel. Join us in the course. Just uh, do a full screen so I can say bye-bye to my bud. Oh, no, thank you, thank you, thank you, Barbara. I love you and I appreciate I this love change. You too, honey. All right, see you later. Have a great week. You too. Bye.